The University of Hawaii at Manoa recognized nearly a thousand students during today's winter commencement ceremony, among them UH football star Colt Brennan. Olena Rubin joins us with more on the future plans of the new grads. Olena. Marissa, the combined undergraduate and advanced degree ceremony highlighted UH Manoa's centennial year along with an undefeated football season. More than 1,500 UH Manoa students received degrees this winter session. 900 of them chose to walk. After the tassels are turned, the question on everyone's mind is, what now? Hopefully I can find a job here on Oahu. Um, I want to teach physical education. Bonilla is originally from the island of Kauai and moved to Honolulu in 2002. I don't want to move to the mainland. I want to stay, stay here in the islands. I guess graduating in May, it's a little harder. No, December. Finding a job is harder than graduating in May and finding a job. Some jobs are easier to find than others, especially for this new mother who plans to return to the Big Island. Oh yeah, stay in Hawaii, but uh, as of right now, I'm not going to look for a job because I have a baby, so I'm going to be a mom for a little while. For many of the graduates we spoke to today, their plan is to stay right here in Hawaii, but for some, their final destination is the mainland. Allison Giometti graduates with a degree in sociology and plans to return to her hometown in California. I want to pursue, I want to look for a job, a good paying job. Um, I don't know yet, I just have to see what happens. For UH warrior Colt Brennan, his focus will continue to be football, although his communication degree will definitely come in handy. I like to go play football <laughs> if I can, but um, cool thing is I got a degree, so if football doesn't work out, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all set, I'll be fine, I'll be just fine. After attending three different colleges, Brennan attributes much of his success on and off the field to staying motivated to graduate. It's been one big event after another for Colt Brennan. Now that commencement is over, his plans for the near future? Focus on prepping the team for the Sugar Bowl. We will have more coverage on Colt a little later in sports. Elena Rubin, KHON 2 News. While the biggest game in school history is still a little over two weeks away, the biggest day for a student athlete is usually the day he or she graduates. That was true for a number of them today as members of different sports joined the class of 2007 in the commencement ceremony today. Among the many, Rustin Saoli, Amani Purcell, Carl Noah, Siave Seti, and Warrior quarterback Colt Brennan. Without a doubt, the most recognizable name of graduation today and he was introduced at the back of the pack and like the football games this year at Aloha Stadium Colt graduating was like a throwing a touchdown and the call of his name got the crowd to its feet and Hawaii's Heisman Colt Brennan just like everything this year it's kind of been a surreal feeling but um you know, I've been in school for so long, it seems like I graduated in 02, went to a prep school, went to three different colleges. So to finally be done is just the biggest, like, greatest feeling. I just went to the Heisman Trophy. I just went 12-0 went and 0 my senior year. And uh, those feelings and, and the reward I got out of that doesn't seem to really compare to the gratification of just finishing school. And, I mean, that just goes to show, I mean, what an accomplishment it is. And, um, you know, I think kids should stay in school just for this feeling, to be done with it. And that's just a great feeling. Brennan got his Bachelor of Arts as a communications major. He and the rest of the Warriors will be back on the field tomorrow morning in preparation for the Sugar Bowl on New Year. More than 1,200 University of Hawaii students graduated this morning in UH Manoa's Fall Centennial Commencement Exercises. KITV's Jody Leong is here now with that story. Jody? Some well-known football warriors were among the last undergraduates to receive their diplomas. Rustin Saole, Carl Noah, Amani Purcell, Siave Seti, and Colt Brennan, complete with gown and rubber slippers, became college graduates this morning. But let's back up to the beginning. The Warriors were among hundreds of undergraduate and graduate students who took part in commencement exercises today. They proudly decorated their graduation caps, thanking parents, celebrating their effort, looking forward to prosperity and to their careers, and celebrating an undefeated football season. Even the commencement speaker, Hawaii-based venture capitalist Barry Weinman, donned Brennan's number 15 jersey while giving the address. And while long lines of students received their diplomas, others took the opportunity to chat with Brennan, take a photo, and get an autograph. Just like everything this year, it's kind of been a surreal feeling. And that went for everyone today, even Michael Rogasa and his family. 
I've been in school for six years, but uh, um, I went overseas to um, fight in um, Iraq. Took my time, took the detour, uh, but I got it. I feel very happy. <laughs> Finally get to go, earn some money. <laughs> Brennan met with his parents, friends, and the media privately after the ceremony. He is elated about his degree. I've been in school for so long, it seems like I graduated in 02, went to a prep school, went to three different colleges. So to finally be done is just the biggest, like, greatest feeling. And he's looking forward to a lot more football. I like to go play football <laughs> if I can, but um, cool thing is I got a degree, so if football doesn't work out, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all set, I'll be fine, I'll be just fine. Brennan now has a degree in communications, and he says he wouldn't be surprised if he was holding a microphone one day. Jody Leon, KITV4, Island Television News. And Hawaii's Heisman, Colt Brennan. They say, oh, you know, University of Hawaii is not like any other place in the, the world, and it's true. It's, it's a unique place with unique people, and to graduate and represent here and be from here is a really special thing. And I think until you graduate from Hawaii, you really don't know what it feels like. But it's a great feeling, and, and you know, you feel a part of the students, you feel a part of the faculty, you, you feel what they talk about when they talk about like Ohana and stuff like that. It's a great feeling. How's it going, everybody? Two-time reigning WAC Player of the Year and Heisman Trophy finalist, Warrior quarterback Colt Brennan accomplished yet another feat today, a degree in communications from the University of Hawaii. The feeling is priceless. I mean, I, you know, I just, got, I just went to the Heisman Trophy. I just went 12-0 went and 0 my senior year. And uh, those feelings and, and the reward I got out of that doesn't seem to really compare to the gratification of just finishing school. And, I mean, that just goes to show, I mean, what an accomplishment it is. And... Um, you know, I think kids should stay in school just for this feeling, to be done with it. And that's just a great feeling. Also walking the line this morning, linebacker Rustin Saole, defensive ends Carl Noah and Amani Purcell, and offensive lineman Siave Seti. Warriors return to practice tomorrow, kickoff in New Orleans against Georgia in the Sugar Bowl, now just 16 days old. Back here at home, it was a sweet day for hundreds of students at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. <laughs> And those are some happy more than 900 undergraduate and graduate students who received their hard-earned degrees this morning at the San Sheriff Center. Family and friends were cheering on their loved ones as they were handed their diplomas. And there was definitely a lot of warrior pride in the house. Even one of the commencement speakers got in on the action. Among the graduates, this is why, was warrior quarterback Colt Brennan smiling as he finally received his degree. A familiar face among the hundreds of graduates, warrior quarterback Colt Brennan. After after three years at the Manoa campus, the award-winning quarterback walked up to accept his diploma with a degree in communications. KHNL News 8, Stephen Florino is live with more on Colt's big accomplishment off the football field. Di, Colt's had a remarkable career, broke or tied 29 college football records, led the Warriors to the school's first ever perfect season and BCS Bowl. But he says all that pales in comparison to what he accomplished today. Among the faces in the crowd, a face that stood out from the crowd the last three years. Warrior quarterback Colt Brennan, record setter, Heisman finalist, and now college graduate. The feeling is priceless. I mean, I you know, I just, got, I just went to the Heisman Trophy. I just went 12-0 went my senior year. And uh, those feelings and, and the reward I got out of that doesn't seem to really compare to the gratification of just finishing school. For fans, it seems like just yesterday, Brennan made his Warrior debut against USC. And now, he's done. But for Colt, this has been a long day coming. You know, I've been in school for so long, it seems like I graduated in 02, went to a prep school, went to three different colleges. So to finally be done is just the biggest, like, greatest feeling. As every other college grad, Brennan will now be job hunting. I like to go play football <laughs> if I can, but um, cool thing is I got a degree, so if football doesn't work out, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all set, I'll be fine, I'll be just fine. With his degree in communications, Colt says he could see himself on the other side of the mic. I look at guys like uh, Kirk Curbstreet and a bunch of other guys, Joe Shad, and you know what they do for a living. They, they travel around the world and, and talk about college football and get to watch college football, and you know, or whether it's pro football. I can't imagine a better life. And let me tell you, brother, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Up next, immediately for Colt, practice tomorrow, getting ready for the Sugar Bowl on New Year's Day. And we 